Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. Yes, Movie Maniacs, it is finally here. A film I heard about two years ago while on the fest it was on the festival circuit getting buzz. You're next. Yes, folks, it's an independent film that has gone from the festival scene to the big screen wide release, and we are glad it did. Now, we Adam Wingard, the director, who did a uh, cue for Quack, as well as a couple of short films for VHS and VHS2, brings us the story of a family getting together at a re remote house out in the middle of nowhere, big, huge house, and they're getting together for an anniversary celebration of the parents of the family. Well, the family members have brought their significant others, and everybody's having a good old time until they start getting attacked by some unknown assailants. Well, these assailants who are terrorizing the family get more than they bargain for when they find out one of the guests actually knows how to defend themselves and puts those skills to good use. Your next, folks, is proof positive of what's coming out of the independent scene. Now, this has a higher budget than a lot of the independent films I've reviewed, but nonetheless, it is an independent film. It's directed like one, it's written like one, and that's what makes it so good. It's not a Shollywood, big-budgeted, high-money gross, you know, uh, put all kinds of money and star power in. No, these are a lot of people in here you probably haven't heard of or haven't heard much of outside of Barbara Crampton. Those who are horror fans recognize the name from Body Double and Reanimator, and she recently was in Lords of Salem. It was refreshing to see her in here, but you've also got director Ty West making an appearance in here. Uh, you've got, uh, who else do you have in here? you got A.J. Bowen, who was in this great uh, horror film called Rites of Spring, and even the writer of the film, Simon Burr. Brett makes an appearance as one of the, the bad guys in here. Okay, but who really stands out in this is the main actress, uh, Sharni uh, Vincent, playing Erin. We saw her in Bait, loved Bait, really loved her in this. Australian actress, and let me tell you, her performance in this is top notch. In fact, everybody's is. This is a lot of fun. This is old school home invasion horror film with just a little bit of a twist. I liked how the story played out, and I actually didn't see one of the uh, surprise kind of reveals coming. There are a number of jump scares, but also not as many jump scares as you might expect. There's a lot of creepy things going on. It was funny listening to the uh, two, two girls sitting behind me jump and get scared and then laugh at the same time because there are some comedic moments as well uh they they kind of build this as a comedy horror and i can see that there's not enough there's not a lot of comedic moments to where it takes away from the horror but there's a great mixture to make you realize they know exactly what type of film they're making and what they're making is an awesome horror film i had so much fun with this movie uh, I couldn't believe it. And gore whores out there, plenty of gore in here. Lots of gore. And not saw gore. And not, uh, this is just good old-fashioned brutal gore in here. And it was just, it was great to see a film like this get wide release. Folks, independent cinema is where we're getting the fun horror from. And your next is the really prime example of it. If you are any type of a horror fan, you should go see your next, okay? Now, there is a little bit of a slow part in there where they're setting up the characters, but uh, it, it's needed so you can at least get a little bit of the gist of how the family dynamics are, and you need that because that sets it up for the rest of the film. There are some just fantastic moments, some moments that are gonna go make you go, Oh my God, and moments to make you realize you are watching a fun horror film, sit back and relax. Music really adds to the mood of this being an old school type home invasion horror film. And I think if you're a horror fan of any type, you should see this movie. Five stubs as you can expect, five big old stubs for your next. Your next should be next on your films to watch in the theater this weekend. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stop.